welcome to another RGI Easy Sewing tutorial and today what we're going to show you how to do is patch pockets. While they are standard sizes for shirts and in other cases, generally patch pockets are something that you can be very creative with as far as the sizes and even the styles are concerned. Today we're just going to show you the basics in how to put together your patch pocket and of course you can use your own creativity to expand on what it is that we show you today. So let's do this. I have two pieces of fabric that I have already cut and the measurements that I am working with are 6 inches by 7 and a half inches. Remember you can cut your material to whatever measurement works for what you are doing. It is, it's often advisable if you are doing something, especially for yourself, you can work with the size of your hand and just increase by approximately half an inch to one inch on both sides. That way you have some movement or some, some space that your hand can actually move inside of the pocket. We are going to do two um, slightly different patch pockets for you today. Um, one that is just very simple and one that has a slight gape so um, it's not flat. You'll notice that it has a slight um, wider opening at the top. This is the first one and you'll notice that I have already gone ahead and ironed everything in place. In our last video when we discussed special tips to improve the quality of your sewing we mentioned the importance of ironing the link to that video is above so you can you can go to that after viewing this video if you would like you'll notice that i have ironed these areas and in each instance i ironed approximately half an inch and then here towards the top I ironed as well half an inch and then folded one inch which is the allowance that I left for the, the hem or the top part of the, of the pocket. I'm going to go ahead now and stitch. Notice that my thread is black intentionally so that you can see the, um, the stitching that I'm doing. I'm sewing the top part of the pocket first. Although it's ironed, it will be easier if um, I put my straight pins here right away. Alright, and I am placing my pocket where it should go. And I'm sewing an eighth of an inch. Okay, so this is our first patch pocket. This second pocket that we are going to sew on is basically quite similar to the first one that we did except that when we are done with this one, it will have a light gaping effect at the opening. Now, to achieve that, you will notice that the top area is slightly larger than the bottom. The difference is one inch. If you want a gap effect that is much wider than, um, than what you will see, of course you increase the size of the top part of the pocket. As far as ironing is concerned, you can already see my creases and um, I've already gone ahead and done the same thing for my top area. I'm going to sew now. Notice that I have placed markings in this area and this distance apart is the same distance apart as the bottom of the pocket. So that will ensure that the, that the gap effect is actually visible. If I do not do that and if I just sew it according to the measurement that it already has, that means the pocket is going to come out just slightly different in style, but it will not have the gap at the top. I 
end again, I am going to sew an eighth of an inch. So folks, this is pocket number two and you can see that there is a slight gap effect at the opening compared with pocket number one where it's finished flat. They are both patched pockets just completed slightly different. Okay, so that's it today for patch pockets. Remember, you can be very creative with your patch pockets. They can be round. They can have um, curved edges right here. You can really do a lot with your patch pockets. Happy sewing.